Forget Rangers, forget Celtic, forget Hibs, Hearts, Aberdeen, Rafe Rovers, Dunfermline, Arbroath, Kelty Hearts, the best branded football team with the best badge and the best kits in this whole country are a sixth tier team you may never have heard of before. You may not have heard of the football team themselves, but I guarantee you've heard of what they're named after and that is Loch Ness. Yes, there is a football team in the sixth tier of Scotland who play in the North Caledonian League called Loch Ness FC. And obviously this place is most famous for the Loch Ness Monster. It's huge and apparently the amount of water that is in Loch Ness is more voluminous than all of the lakes in England and Wales put together. I'm in a town right now called Fort Augustus which is on the southern tip of the Loch Ness itself and if you follow Loch Ness it will take you eventually up to the River Ness and then into Inverness which is where the football team Loch Ness Football Club play. They have an incredible story about the amount of kits that they've sold. Their kits are phenomenal which we'll be seeing a little bit later on in this video um, but yeah they have a record amount of sales for them which probably eclipse other highland teams that are in the premiership such as ross county or the championship like inverness caledonia thistle yeah it's an unbelievable story they play in the sixth tier the one tier above them is the highland league will we see them in the highland league one day and will we potentially see them in the spfl how good would that be seeing loch ness football club in like League Two, League One. I think it'd be amazing having Loch Ness FC and Bonnie Rig Rose and all these teams with amazing names. But yeah, here we go. I'm gonna show you this area a little bit now and uh, I'll see you up at the football club very, very soon. Look at this, all the tourists that come here, down this little town at Fort Augustus, beautiful place. And all the tourists in this shop and all these cafes, all these ice cream shops and places to get sausage rolls and food and haggis and that. But look, how many people come here and know that if you keep following Fort Augustus up through the Loch Ness, past the monster and past all the castles and that to Inverness, you actually come to a football team called Loch Ness FC. Look at that, iron brew, sausage roll, and the sound of bagpipes in the background. Doesn't get much more Scottish than this, especially as we've seen Loch Ness as well. We've got about an hour or so to go to get to a place called Four Troes, just north of Inverness. And that is where we will see Loch Ness FC. So I'll see you there in three, two. Wow, look at this weather. I don't think I've ever had weather this good up in the Highlands like this before. It's usually slightly drizzly, but look at this. You got the coast down there, big golf club there, these lovely houses. And uh, yeah, the football ground is just up here and around to the left. So let's go try and find it. Or oh, maybe it's through here. Actually, we may... the map tells me it's on the road, but we may have found a way into the ground. Just check this out. Hi, hey, well, I'm Shane Carling. I'm the founder of the club. Uh, founder, we found the club 23 years ago. Uh, and I also am the, the manager of the football team as well. Amazing, so a busy man, I take it. And I can see from the park, look, we've got all the branding of uh, Loch Ness Football Club as well, and, and on your shirt too. Um, and we'll be talking about the shirts a little bit later. It's a really cool backstory. Um, but the stadium or the ground looks fantastic. Um, proper grassroots stuff. How many people do you usually get at games here? Uh, well, we are looking probably you know, anything from 80 to 100 and sometimes more, every home game, um, you know, where we play is a wee, it's a small town area, you know, so, you know, to get that many people, it's, it's good, you yeah. know, it's really good for And for so us. what level are you at then? Uh, we're semi-professional, semi-pro, so. Semi-pro, sixth tier, sixth and so you're one league below the Highland League. That's right, yeah. Is there ambitions within the club to maybe get up to the Highland League, and obviously we've just spoken off camera about the potential need for 
a new stadium that you could sort of call your own rather than like a council owned pitch? Yeah, uh, no, definitely. Uh, I think that's something that would happen in many years to come, you know, yeah. if it's possible. Uh, like I say, it's just trying to get your own park, you know, to get funding. It's it's not it's not easy, you know. So yeah, yeah we just we'll just have to keep going, playing where we are now, and then hopefully in the future that it could happen. So that's the way change the rooms. Yeah, uh, you know they're not they're not the biggest, you know. So way change over there, cup showers, and then we've got the home the home changing rooms, and obviously yeah, you know, cool toilet showers that. We're trying to, we're hoping to try and maybe knock this wall down, stain yep. it out, yep. get the change rooms bigger, uh, especially for the home side, you know, yeah, yeah. it can be pretty calm. And so here they are, I've seen and heard a lot about these kits yep. before, um, and look, you can just see how like well branded they are for even just like a team of your size, yep. like it's brilliant yep. to see with the uh, Loch Ness Monster on there and even across the shirt as well, look at that, so um, just explain how well the kits have gone down. Uh, really good. Uh, especially the first year. Uh, Which one's the first so year? So the first sorry. season was that's our home one. Yep. The Wuha one. Wow, that's lovely, yeah. And then because we had three strips that came out oh, the first year, so it was the uh, the black black one, the white ones, the away one. Yep. And then the other blue one here, which is my, one of my favourite ones. That's our third kit. Wow. Okay. So you can see they do go. Well, yeah, they're really nice. Like, see the oak stain to the bottom as ah, well. Ah, yeah, look, this monster there as well. They're amazingly designed kits. You see, even like shirts in the Premier League and the Premiership, don't you? That are a bit plain and boring. But then yeah. you've been able to pull these together. Yeah, no, it's, uh, look, I think it makes a big difference. Yeah, you know, it's especially on the Loch Ness monster. And it's it's a worldwide thing, you know. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. World famous. Not? Yeah. Why not? You know, it certainly helps the sales. You know, it helps fund the club. You know, which is the most important thing, you know. Yep. And how many sales did you say you had in the first year? I think the first year we were really probably about around the five thousand mark kind of five thousand. Give or take, maybe less, maybe more, you know, it's I don't do really deal with that side yeah. of things, but yeah. It's still amazing again for a club of this size. How many would like Ross County and Vanessa Cali Fish? Well that, that's uh, how much would you sell, you know? Uh, I don't know if they'd be sales many as that. I think they'd be jealous yeah. looking at your numbers, probably. I'm sure. <laughs> and so with the setup of the club, obviously we've mentioned how famous the Loch Ness Monster is, everyone around the world knows of it. Why was it that you set up the club with that name and with the branding as well? Well, when we first started Loch Ness, it was the name actually came from the hotel. Where we used to all go back. A uh, group of friends used to, you know, sort of drink in there, so we managed to get a sponsorship off them, so it was a Loch Ness House Hotel. Uh, okay. And then ever since then we just kept the same name. Yeah, you know, yeah. The hotel no longer exists anymore, but we, with the name, you couldn't get rid of it. Yeah. You know? So we just, yeah, we've kept it the whole time, which you know, it's probably the best thing we. It's we've brilliant. Done, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Um, but yeah, it's been. I think, I think we became a lot nicer. The club we got founded in 1999. And I think it was, was uh, the millennium when the year later that we became lot nice. Oh, perfect. You know? Yeah. So. Oh, great. But yeah, it's been. It's definitely, it's definitely worked out for us. So we were talking about your playing days just then as well. You started off at Cali Thistle, had a loan to Gretna and played for a few uh, Highland clubs as well. But now you're obviously running a football club. What are the, um, what are sort of differences between being a player and being sort of the owner of a club, would you uh, say? <laughs> it's a big difference, I would say, you know, the enjoyment of playing to the enjoyment of being a manager is certainly two different, yeah. different things, you know, it's, but you got a lot more passion in it, I think, when you become a manager, you know, you're, yes, you're there to play football to win games, but having that buzz, you know, to win games of football and even win trophies, you know, I think it's two different, two different buzzes out of being a player and being a, yeah. being a manager, you know, you feel, I think, it feels better, I would say, as a manager, because knowing it's, you know, you're picking the team, you're, you know, you're, Maybe coming through you, your yep. coaches, sort of thing, you know. So I think, yeah, it's, there's a big difference. But like, it took me years to to stop enjoy, you know, to stop playing. You know, I missed yep. it all the time. But now it's, you know, it's all about managing and yep. enjoying that. Now, you know, it's. Uh, I don't know, I'll try to put the boots back on the start of this year for another. Play a manager. <laughs> there's a bit. Yeah, it's not. It's not for me. Really. Now, you know? <laughs> Definitely not for me now. But no, it's. I think I'll just. The managing part of things is, it's, you know, it's good, it's enjoyable. And, and so why should more people um, 
come and start watching football here, but also football of this level all around the country as well. Mm. Oh, it's, it's, you know, come and watch Loch Ness. Is, you know, it's a good, it'd be good to get people all around to come and watch us. You know, it's like it's a great setup, great scenery here. It's a lovely place to come to. Yeah. You know, it's you know, like I say, it's Loch Ness, isn't it? It's a, it's a well known. So well, well, starting to get a well-known team now. You know, we're getting looked at all around the world. So, yep. No, it's, we've had we've had quite a few people from abroad coming to watch us. So, and and the kits as well. You were telling me inside that a lot were sold to different countries as well. Yeah, yeah. No, all over the world. You know, Australia to America, <laughs> uh, Japan. You know, wow. they, they went, so there's a few people in Japan wearing Loch Ness a FC few, kits. Maybe a few. Uh, That's like, funny. Not enough, but there's a few. Yeah. Like, so yeah. anybody watching? Have a look at your website where they could maybe buy yeah, one of the shirts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just the Loch Ness uh, FC website. Uh, you've got a full, full, uh, full website of yeah. ZN Sports. You go into that, you'll get you'll get everything from strips, full kits, jumpers, t-shirts, everything. You know, so it's a good selection of stuff to get. Right, lads. So you are all Ross County fans. Yeah. Yeah. I can see from your shorts there. You had an okay start to the season, um, but we're currently on the pitch of Loch Ness FC, as you can see there. Have you ever seen Loch Ness yeah. play yeah, before? Yeah. Yeah. What's the level like? What's it like coming yeah. to the games? It's quite good. It's quite, yeah, used, it's quite yeah. good. It's quite fun. It's, what's the difference between coming to a game here and going to a game at like Ross County, for instance? Uh, so the atmosphere is different. Right? Yeah. 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 I suppose it's a bit different here in the players the getting the play, so close. The way the yeah. play is different as well. What What's like the style of play here? Would you say? It's like, it's more bit rough, tough. Yeah, 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 a bit tougher, yeah, a bit yeah. rougher, isn't it? Yeah. 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 And you hope to see these maybe in the Highland League one day, yeah. League Two? Yeah. Could you yeah. see it happen? Yeah. 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 Hopefully. And what do you think of their kits and their badge? Yeah. It's good, isn't it? Something a bit unique, isn't it? Right, lads, well, all the best. I'll hopefully see you here at a game soon, yeah? Yep. Nice one, boys. Really funny just to uh, chat to those three little lads there, um, the Ross County fans. Um, yeah, always when you come to different areas of the country, it's so funny hearing who they support. They do like, say they support like Rangers as well. A lot of the time, like you'll come to these places, but they'll also support like the local team. That's what you really find in Scotland. And people criticize that, but I mean, the old firm, clubs really put Scotland on the map but I love when they also support their locals as well um, but yeah Shane what a lovely guy running uh, running Loch Ness here he's as you find when you do these non-league videos the manager of the club is also the groundsman is also the committee is also the chairman like you'll just find that that the people just have multiple jobs at these kind of grounds because that's how the clubs are run there's not a huge amount of money so I always always um, encourage you guys to come and watch games here to buy a tea a a coffee, a pie, whatever, um, just to help support the club. Even if you just come once, um, come along, or even buy one of their kits as well. They've given me a kit to take away with me, um, a couple of souvenirs actually, so they're gonna have to go in the backdrop. Um, I'm absolutely buzzing to have, um, to have got one of them. Um, a couple, I'm gonna have to change them up in the backdrop. They're so nice. Look at that. I've got the Scotland Euros edition. Look at that, from 2021 with Loch Ness Monster, with the Saltire of Scotland on. And he's also given me this black number as well. I think these two are so nice. Match worn as well. I'm absolutely buzzing with them. I'm gonna change them up in the um, in the backdrop of my of my uh, filming area at home when I do those videos. But yeah, really, really cool club that you have to come and check out. The branding is insane because of uh, the whole Loch Ness thing. Although they're not too close to Loch Ness and where they play right now, maybe one day they can have their own stadium on the banks of the famous Loch Ness. And uh, maybe you can go and watch them there one day in the SPFL in a few years time. They'll be playing a League Two game against Bonnie Rig Rose. Actually, Bonnie Rig will probably been promoted by then. Um, maybe it'll be like Falkirk or someone. <laughs> um, sorry, Falkirk fans. But yeah, hopefully we can see, uh, see this incredible team um, up in the league system soon. Lovely bunch of people there and in a beautiful part of the world as well. If you're ever, ever in Inverness go and watch them play as much as yeah like I say I like to cover the old firm teams these are the stories that really sort of uh, tantalize me I really do like to investigate them because I've never really heard much about them before except from what I can find out online and maybe you've never even heard of them before so I can bring you a story about a club that you've never even heard of please do hit that like button please do subscribe if you're new thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one